Hello children! Today you will have time to do a detailed drawing and to write about the story you brainstormed in our lesson yesterday. Your teacher is very excited to see and to read your personal narrative or small moment stories. I am going to show you how to take a quick drawing and turn it into a detailed picture and a story. So watch me! Yesterday I thought about my ideas for stories and I decided today that I'm going to draw and write my detailed story about the time that my cat Felix got caught in the tree. So I'm going to get my next piece of paper ready and if your paper doesn't look like mine, that's okay. I'm going to split my paper up into four pieces again because I want to tell as many details as I can in my drawing. So I'm going to show what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. So this drawing can be more detailed. I'm going to first think about what happened at the start of the story. Oh, I know. I went outside and my cat Felix was up in a tree. So I draw my detailed picture. There's my cat Felix up in the tree. I'm drawing myself the best I can. Drawing doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to show what my face looks like. Got a label that was me. And this is Felix up in the tree. Mm, I can't remember how to spell tree. I'll just put the beginning sound. He was meowing and was stuck high up in the tree. So I'm going to draw again my cat Felix. And what was he doing? He was saying meow. And I'm just going to label my drawing any way that I can. It doesn't have to be all of the words. Like if I knew he was saying meow, I could just say meow with an M. That would work too. So let's see, he was up in the tree, he was meowing. Then I yelled for him to jump down. So I'm drawing my detailed drawing again to show what happened next in my story. There's Felix again, he's up in the tree. There's me. I'm a little scared still. Okay, finally he jumped down and ran right to me. So I'm going to keep drawing my detailed picture. Doesn't have to be a perfect drawing, it's just showing what happened in this story. And here's my kitty again and there is me i gonna add some more details to show what i was feeling i was so relieved i'm gonna label again who's in my story i'm gonna ask myself now what more can i add to this details are important <gasps> I know Felix was up in the tree when I came out and I figured out he went up there and was crying and saying meow because there was a big dog and that big dog, I'm going to draw the best that I can, my big dog, he had a big long tail, I'm going to label him. That dog was barking at Felix. I forgot that important detail. After I finish my drawing that shows what happened in the beginning, middle, and end of my story, now I can make sure to label all of the sounds to show what's in my picture. Oh, I didn't label the tree over here. 
All right, once I have my detailed drawing and my labels, if I'm feeling ready, I can also write all about my story. So here we go. I'm gonna practice writing just what I know how to spell. It doesn't need to be perfect. My cat. Oh, went, went, woo. Mm. I put the sounds that I know in the tree. He got, well, he got stuck. That's kind of a hard word, so I'm going to say st k k stuck. I yelled at him. Oh, and I forgot to put that in my drawing that I was yelling at him. I could say, I was yelling, kitty. He jumped, jumped down. I want to say how the story ended. Well, I was so happy he was okay. Look back or think about your story ideas from yesterday. Point to the one you circled. On a new piece of paper, you will start by drawing your story with lots of details about what happened. You might even break your story into smaller detailed pictures to show the order of what happened. Then add as much writing as you can to tell all about your picture. If you don't know how to spell the word, that's okay. Just write the sounds that you know. Do your very best work on your own, no helpers. Before we begin writing, think about everything that happened in this story you are going to write and draw about today. After helping set up your paper, your teacher will show you a checklist you can use to help you remember what to include in your story. Make sure you show and tell what happened in order, what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end of your story.